afternoon, folks. Big Bo with RVs with Big Bo and Parkway RV Center. Guys, I've got a deal today for you in a diesel motorhome. Of course, you know, I always bring you the good deals. This is just another of the many, many examples of what I, uh, what I show. That's why you're a subscriber, guys. This is a 2006 Winnebago Journey 39K. Guys, this unit just came in here, Parkway RV Center. It is 39 and a half feet total length. Three slides, built on a Freightliner chassis. Got the 7.2 liter, 350 horsepower Caterpillar turbo diesel, 860 pound feet of torque. 7500 on and diesel generator in the front. Got generator running, motor running. Beautiful full body paint. This has been a very, very meticulously cared for RV, guys. This is not your regular 06. And you know what's nice about it? It's the price. 649. Check the NADA. I'll show you when I go inside. 81950. No added options. Average retail. My price, 649. Look on RV Trader. Look at other 2006 Winnebago journeys. 39Ks. Three of them on there. One for 89,000. One for 77 and one for 85. This one, when it hits RV Trader, will blow them out of the water. 64.9. Now guys, it does have a little bit of miles on it. That's why the price is what it is, but it's a diesel. I mean, what's miles on a diesel? It's got 102,000 miles on it, which barely broke in at all for this kind of, kind of motorhome. And believe me, those that are 20, 25 grand more still have 50, 60, 70,000 miles on them. And this thing runs and drives great. What a beautiful RV, guys. It's got, uh, it's loaded with options. Got the Alcoa wheels, satellite system on the roof. Uh, got the little Wi-Fi extender. It's got washer and dryer. 10,000 pound tow capacity. What a beautiful RV. Power patio awning. Built on a Freightliner XC chassis. It's got the Allison 3000 six-speed automatic. Got the basement AC system. Look at the corners on this thing, guys. I'm trying to find something on it to uh, to pick, but I'm not having much luck. How about y'all? Look at the shine on this thing. I'm telling you guys, and I'm not just not just trying to act, make it sound like a sales pitch. They don't come any finer than this for an 06. Beautiful RV, guys. This one, if I get it on tonight, I'll probably sold by lunchtime tomorrow. I'm just telling you, get on that phone and call first thing, 9 o'clock a.m. Eastern Time, if you want this RV. Power patio awning. It's got the uh, door awning. Man, let's look inside. What I like about it, they didn't even had it. They hadn't. Even, they don't even need to change the carpets. In. It's got the original carpets that look great. That is how well it's been taken care of. Dash air blows ice cold. Not many 06 Class A diesels are you gonna find the dash air even functions on, much less blows cold like this. No warning lights. No check engine lights. Beautiful interior, guys. Got a 2000 watt inverter. Uh, Xantrix inverter on top of the 7500 Onan diesel generator. 102. 775 on the clock. Touch screen stereo. Look at this. Th this thing's immaculate, guys. Of course, TV's been changed out since 06. Windshields look great. I mean, everything's here, the shades, all that. Got the exhaust brake, uh, redundant controls for flashers and cruise control. 
uh, ceramic tile in your walkway right there looks good seats I mean they've got a little bit of wear to them with 102,000 miles but I mean these are real leather seats they look great this ain't that pleather stuff they put in them now and uh, looks great you've got the opposing sofas uh, this actually makes a queen bed this one just sleeps one and then you got a table booth that makes a bed so two four five six seven so this thing can sleep almost what a c-class can and look at the ceiling panels there's no smoke no pet odors beautiful guys look at the book on this thing nada just pulled it 39k no added options 81,950. I'm thousands under low retail. This thing is beautiful, guys. Look at those carpets. Those are original carpets. Corian countertops. Got a well, they had some tape or something on it right there. It had to be cleaned off, but wow. I've actually got the AC on because it's 70 degrees right now. The basement AC blows great. Now the refrigerator's been changed. It's got a whirlpool, some kind of, it's all electric, of course. Um, this is your freezer down here. And it's already, you can see right here, working. And then up here, refrigerator. So plenty of, a lot more space than you're gonna get in a RV refrigerator and cools off twice as fast of course this is a winnebago guys they built 80 percent of their own parts in-house and you know most other brands with an 06 model you forget about calling the factory and ordering parts but not with this one you can still get most of the parts from this thing directly from winnebago you don't have to go through a dealer they were the first rv manufacturer to build their own frames in-house Even the uh, generator is a Cummins motor in the generator. I mean, this thing is uh, amazing. Walk toward the back. Got a shower. Look around the skylight, looks good. Got an outside vanity, plus you got another one in the water closet. Queen Island bed got a TV up there there's your water closet your second vanity Wow sorry about that folks I had some uh, people walk in on us and wind up talking to them for about 20 minutes or so um, where was we all right bedroom uh, Queen Island bed. Sorry if I repeat myself a little bit. That kind of throws me off when that happens. There's your washer and dryer. Double closet. Somebody's added some shelves to it. Help you keep you organized. Of course, it's in good shape, guys. Of course, we're standing right on top of that big 350 horsepower Caterpillar turbo diesel. Very, very dependable, guys. C7 diesel. Some books and manuals. Man, this is. I can't stress to you enough how nice this motorhome is. I mean, wow. Only here are you going to find a deal like this, guys. Only here. And even though we're selling this thing tens of thousands below anybody else, we do guarantee generator run and put out like it's supposed to. We guarantee the basement air to work like it's supposed to. Guarantee the slide outs to work like they're supposed to. 
and for this thing to go down the road like it's supposed to and it drives great diesels are so funny guys you you can take uh, just do this for example you can take two identical 2006 Winnebago journeys one with 102,000 miles and one with say uh, 12,000 miles this thing will out drive and outride a 12,000 mile one in the exact same year making model motorhome two or three to one and uh and still have hundreds i mean you take care of this motorhome guys <coughs> you take care of it keep it maintained keep it repaired when things break you've got hundreds of thousands of miles of use left in this thing guys you'll never wear it out and uh that's why people buy diesel over gas that's why you spend so much more money up front for diesel over gas longevity more heavy duty 10,000 pound tow capacity too by the way if I didn't mention that and uh, this thing is going to sell quick I don't usually say this guys but if you want this RV you need to be on that phone not before not after but right at 9 a.m. Eastern time as soon as the clocks change over our phone system cuts on at 9 o'clock in the morning if you want this thing you need to call um this is probably one of the best deals i've seen for this price since the pandemic started uh for this triple slide winnebago journey which i'm always a big winnebago fan guys y'all know that i own two of these things i love winnebago the quality in their class is unmatched fiberglass roof i mean these are just built so well crown fiberglass roof too by the way 80 percent of their own parts in house furniture is built by winnebago cabinets are built by winnebago the slide out system is built by winnebago it's incredible the amount of stuff in this rv owned and built by winnebago for winnebago products um, all aluminum frames still in the cab area of course even the windshield set in a steel frame If you're interested in it, you got questions, call first thing in the morning, 706-965-7929. And you're welcome to email guys or call after hours for answering service. But here, here's the thing. Uh, my salespeople, the phones are ringing off the hook as soon as they cut, as soon as the phone system cuts on at nine o'clock. So a lot of times my salespeople don't check emails until 9.30, 10 o'clock, 10.30 a.m. And when you call after hours or answering service, takes your information, because they're pretty much just a glorified answering machine anyway, and uh, emails it to the salespeople. So even though you let you called the night before, they're not going to check that email till probably after somebody else has done called and bought it, took the initiative, or be here at 9 o'clock in the morning if you're close by. I mean, this is a nice, nice, nice RV um, and we, like I said, we do guarantee those systems to work and anything else, of course, is sold as is. That's how we keep our prices so low right now, guys. We don't have the manpower to do a full checkout. But it is more, the, but the price more than accommodates that. Like I said, this thing's 80, 80, 81, nine feet, $82,000 average retail. That's a lot. Of, that's a lot of equity right off the bat, guys. Was that five, ten? 15 16 17 grand worth of equity right off the bat and it would and that, that wouldn't be would be wouldn't be so bad if it needed work or if it was rough but this would you see anything here rough at all besides the guy behind the camera <laughs> um wow let me know what you think in the comments below guys call if you're interested 706-965-7929 or come down if you're coming a long distance call before you come down um somebody's going to get this unit and they're going to be lucky they really are i think they're going to be very very surprised once they see it how nice this unit is i mean i've got more expensive motorhomes out here but i stuck this one long ways right here on the front where it's the most exposure because that's how nice it is 
even though I've got more expensive ones out here, I displayed this in the best spot because that's how much I like it. And I don't do that with just anything. I usually only do that for the most expensive one. But, uh, yeah. Check it out while it lasts. Feel free to comment. Feel free to subscribe. If this, if this is not a good reason to subscribe to my channel for deals like this, I don't know what else is. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that bell notification button. Uh, feel free to like my Facebook page, RVs with Big Bo. You'd be glad you did. You can message me there directly, even though I don't, I can't sell you anything. I can still answer questions, give you advice about RVing. I've got 25 years experience as an RV owner and working as an RV at an RV dealership. In pretty much every aspect of it you can think of. So I don't mind sharing that knowledge, giving you advice, this or that or anything like that. Uh, especially when I see some of these answers on Facebook. Oh my gosh, guys! Don't don't take anything you see in Facebook when you if you join these some of these groups that I'm on and you ask advice. Don't ninety five percent of what you're being told is totally wrong. Just trust me on that. Don't don't take any of that stuff seriously on Facebook, guys. That's just ridiculous. Huh. But anyway, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. And um, thank y'all for watching. Call if you're interested. We take trade-ins. We do have some financing available with approved credit, down payment. Call, find out about that. Um, delivery service is about a buck fifty a mile one way. If you need nationwide delivery. Figure about a dollar fifty a mile, loaded mile or one way, and that's us paying all expenses, fuel, getting it there, paying my driver, paying for hotel if necessary, and getting my driver back home. So, thank you so much for watching, guys. Appreciate it, and uh, stay tuned for some more videos. Uh, look forward to seeing you here in beautiful Ringgold, Georgia.